to get a marriage license. Okay. Um, in New York State, same-sex marriages are not legal. But we're American okay. citizens. I understand that. But we all pay our taxes. I, I'm not We're all educated. I, I'm not disagreeing with that, but unfortunately it's not valid in New York State. It's not legal. I can marry my first cousin, but I can't marry the woman I've been with all these years. I understand, ma'am. I can't issue a license for a same-sex couple. I'm sorry. Well, how about, is it because we didn't serve military duty? This is something that you'd have to discuss with the parents. No. Unfortunately, I can't issue the license. We're New Yorkers. Like, I can get a, if you'd like, I can get a supervisor. We're New Yorkers. Does that count? You can issue a license to anybody. It's not the issue of New York State versus. So, it's so just not what we have to have State. to get a marriage license is we have to have birth certificates. We have those. We have Social Security cards. I even have a divorce decree so that you knew that my name changed. We have. We have picture ID. I have forty dollars. I have forty dollars right here, somewhere. God, I hope I didn't lose it. I am so nervous. I swear to God, you guys. <laughs> <laughs> like, no, I have more than this. I put it somewhere. We have money. We we we're all ready. Everybody here is ready. We've all committed. We have loving, dedicated lives. We have five children. We have twelve grandchildren. We live in this community with you. We work here. We raise our children here. We volunteer in this community. We own property. We've served in the military, some of us. What more do we have to do to prove we should have the same rights as every other New Yorker? I realize this isn't your fault. Truly, I do. So, if she was a man, it's okay. In New York State, if it was a heterosexual couple, we could issue a marriage license. Any boys? Any takers? Oh, excuse me. Can we get marriage license? I'm sorry. Yeah, my name's Kitty. I'm Ed. Oh, yes, Ed. I've never married an Ed before. This should be interesting. Mm -hmm. Can we get a marriage license, please? I employ you. I employ you. Thank you for acknowledging that. And my taxes pay for you to be here. I can go to a church right now and get married. I could literally leave here with Cheryl right now. And I could go to the Unity Church of Buffalo. I could go to the Issue of Kids. I need this $40, $40 piece of paper, which will secure my rights, which will protect the home that we own, that will protect our children and our grandchildren, that will protect us when we walk into a hospital, that, and we have experienced that. My partner has cancer, which is why this becomes a much more emotional issue for us. It will protect us in, in inheritance rights, something that I can guarantee you every straight American takes for granted. You don't ever have to think about the fact that the house the two of you have lived in for 40 years is yours if you lose your partner. The best of things and the worst of things. Our children hating us, our children loving us, our children hating each other, our children loving each other. We're a normal family. Our kids fight over who did the dishes or who had to do the dishes or who should have had to do the dishes this time. We're a normal family. And our point here today is that it amazes us that for $40, you'll give me a marriage license to marry Ed. God, I'm so sorry. Some young man I have never met before, I don't know his, I don't even know your last name. Am I going to be Polish by marriage? Oh, good. Okay. I'm Irish, so I'm German. German. How? Okay. I'm not sure I'm okay with that, Ed, but um, we'll tell everybody you're Irish. Speak now, um, forever hold <laughs> Yeah. But, but that's the point that I can get a marriage license with a total stranger. Half my. <laughs> wouldn't it be great if you were half my age? Um, more than half my age. Younger than most of my children. I mean, you're literally the age of one of my grandchildren almost. And yet I can get a marriage license to this individual. He has the right, with that $40 piece of paper, to inherit everything we built together. He has the right to attach himself to everything in my life. Cutting out even our children with this $40 piece of paper, and he's a total stranger. But the person that has sat with me through everything, 
who's prayed with me through all of the grief our children have given us and all that we have given them, who's sat with us through all the problems and all the joys. And I can't get a marriage license because... New York State. I mean, as, as, you, as you're well but, aware... But why? But, and you know, the question becomes truly, and this is the question that needs to be answered. Don't tell me it's on a religious basis. I can leave here right now and go to any church here that is welcoming and affirming, and they will marry me. I need my piece of paper from my government. I understand how there are 324 rights and privileges and responsibilities that you have with that $40 piece of paper. So I'll tell all of you beautiful young things, do not commit to this lightly. Do not think it's something casual you do on a weekend. This is not a Vegas paper. This is not fun. This means... Now you, now you realize that the council is working on this domestic... Domestic, I was there yesterday, yes. I just wanted to... We have a group of fabulous council members that really believe and understand. You have to understand the domestic partnership registry is, is will, not what, will allow not what us this. to register, but it will give us no legal right. recourse and no, no protection. Right. At least the city's trying to work on it. I do. I honor David Rivera, Michael Licurdo, um, uh, our new councilman Haynes, um, remarkable individuals who've been willing to step up to the plate on this. Right. Uh, Mickey Kearns, good people. I yeah, appreciate I believe it. it's unanimous. It's, it's, um, but you understand it doesn't just protect gay people, it protects straight people, which is the mayor's complaint. He doesn't agree with that. He thinks you straight people should be cut out of the equation. Um, sorry about that. <laughs> you know, he thinks that you have the opportunity to get married, you should be exercising that, and I want to tell you how wrong that is, because you should have the choice to get married, just like I have. I should have the choice to get married. You should have the choice not to get married. But, you know, okay, we're ready. You guys are all set. You're welcome. Woohoo! Guys. Here it is. A $40 piece of paper I got to marry a total stranger. A total stranger. I, I, I didn't know Ed before today, and yet we have the ability to attach ourselves to everything each other owns just by making this official with three more signatures and a filing here, and it's a done deal. And yet, I can't get, as an American, I can't get a marriage license to be with the person I've been with all these years. How sad is this? When are we going to change this, and when is our Senate going to understand that I am in a government office and asking for government protections? Stay out of my church, stay out of my religion, and allow me to practice it myself. But allow me to practice it myself. My First Amendment rights to practice my religious beliefs are being impeded upon by the New York State Senate. This time that changed. We need our Senate to step up to the plate. We need our Senate to understand that every single New Yorker should have the same protections, regardless of your philosophies, regardless of your opinions, regardless of your religion. We don't want to get married in your church. We want our civil rights so that we can get married in ours. That's what we're asking for. Not to a total stranger just because they happen to have a set of genitalia that does not match my own. It's that simple. Happy Valentine's Day, darling. Too sweet. Happy Valentine's Day, Happy Valentine's Day, sweetie. It will be when I can marry you. Yes, it will be.